Hi everyone, this is Alan Schimmel of DevOps.com, DevOps TV, and we're here at IBM Think 2018 in Las Vegas, and I have with me a nice guest who's never done this before, So, uh, but I think she's going to be great, and you're going to want to hear what she has to say, Anita KT from Infosys. Hi, Anita. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Alan, for that. No problem. So, Anita, I, I really didn't want to try your last name because it was it was going to be hard for me. Right. But why don't you tell our audience? How do you uh, pronounce it? All right. Uh, it's a Malayalam last name and because I'm from the state of Kerala, okay. in the southern part of India. And it's pronounced as Kirake Tharavitil, which, names, which means uh, East Side Downhouse. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, there we have it. So, yeah. Anita, thank you for the explanation. Right. And tell us a little bit, what do you do with Infosys? Yeah, uh, I'm a senior technology architect with Infosys. And um, uh, so, basically, I do solution architecture. And mm -hmm. right now, I'm involved in DevOps activities for various accounts. Okay. And um, so, basically, my background is that I have been into applications side on the mainframe, and I've got a little bit of exposure to the system side as well. Yes. Yep. And, and you know, Anita, that's something a lot of people who, you know, they hear the term DevOps, and they, they associate DevOps with startups or the cloud or new, new things. And you say, no, no, I'm working on DevOps on mainframe systems. Exactly. And they say, mainframe systems, what are you doing with DevOps and main? You know, how does DevOps work on mainframes? But as we've seen at prior IBM events, and we, you know, and not just IBM, whether you're talking to CA or, or Infosys or, or Microfocus or many of the CompuWare, there's a huge movement of DevOps type of. Uh, processes and work being done on the mainframe side of the house, right. and probably one of the uh, I need a, one of the biggest areas that we talk about with DevOps and mainframe is the idea of testing, right? Right. Yeah. And and so you know I I know with the IBM mainframe stuff we talk about it's Z D and T. Yep. Right. Yep. Why don't you explain to our audience a little bit what do we mean by Z D and T? All right. Uh, so ZDNT is a virtualization solution for development and test from IBM. Uh, so it's basically like uh, it's an emulation software which runs on a Z architecture, and mm -hmm. you can run it on your any of the x86 box. So it brings out a lot of advantages to developers, like uh, developer autonomy is just one point to mention. So mm -hmm. uh, you can do lower levels of testing in this environment, which makes the developers more independent. Because one of the major challenges that uh, developers and testers face is that uh, they have to wait for a long time to get the in infrastructure provisioned for conducting various testing. So uh, when you talk about DevOps, DevOps, I can uh, t tell it like it's nothing but an automated way of agile process. Sure. So if you look at that way, uh, test environment provisioning is one of the biggest showstoppers. So to tackle that, this is one of the solutions from IBM which can be used to get the environment provisioned in an agile manner. Sure, yep. sure. Anita, I'd like to focus in a little bit on, on Infosys and right. what, what you do. Now, obviously, Infosys is a big IBM partner. Yep. Uh, are you, do you focus primarily in the Indian market or are you dealing worldwide or both? Uh, this uh, our customers are across the globe, and okay. we have U.S. clients and European clients and uh, Indian clients as well. So all over yeah. that. Yeah. So you, that gives you a unique kind of view of worldwide. Yeah. How you know? First of all, the, the the mainframe customers that are you know using DevOps are they in any particular verticals? You know, financial services, healthcare, government that you see. You know, the DevOps seems to be more uh, in demand there than others. Yeah, uh, the, uh, I work for the finance vertical, so finance, I can okay. uh, yeah, so I can see a lot of momentum in that vertical. So that could also be due to the frequent changes that are happening due to a lot of governance uh, uh, standards uh -huh. and all those things happening, and uh, for example, PSD two. So uh, due to that, uh, the applications which are residing on mainframes uh, for many decades they need to undergo frequent changes and all the blockers for agility have to be resolved 
for that we need to uh, build a devops pipeline for continuous delivery and continuous integration and continuous deployment which can make uh, uh, delivery faster and more frequent understood yeah. sure and um is this so one one of the things that i you know in, in, in speaking to large integrators who are delivering devops to, to organizations there's sort of two ways of doing it. One is we're going to come in and do it for you. Right. And we'll always be here to do it for you. Right. And one is, you know, we'll teach you to do it. And then we kind of back off, right? Yeah. What What is, do you use both or one of those ways? What's your preferred way uh, of doing yeah, that? Yeah, we use a hybrid kind of approach. Mm -hmm. That's how I should be telling that. And um, we have partnership with uh, IBM and we so, uh, and with computer as well. So it's like uh, most of the customers would not be wanting to move away from the SEM tool and also from no. the scheduler because it would be risky and uh, it would be in a matured state. Mm -hmm. So we want to leverage the existing tools to the maximum by uh, with reducing the risk because all we are looking at is to uh, blend the uh, best practices from the distributed side and the mainframe side to bring agility to the end air pipeline. Yeah. So for that, uh, so this is one aspect that we'll be looking at. So whatever is the existing scenario, whether it's a CompuWare stack or IBM stack, the major SEM and the scheduler, we will try our best to stick to that. Yeah. And then we would uh, try to understand the challenges in each of the lifecycle activities. And then uh, we will prioritize the challenges and then we have to try uh, finding the best fit for uh, tools for addressing each of the challenges in these areas. For that, <coughs> excuse me, for that we evaluate various vendor products right. which are top in the market and we follow a specific evaluation mechanism and we also consider various integration aspects, how it will fit into the existing tool set and about the costing aspects and licensing aspects as, as well. And then uh, we conduct proof of concept studies and be it be IBM or CompuWare and then we find the best fit which is customized for that particular customer. So we don't always stick to one particular vendor. Right. It varies from customer to customer. It's what's the best fit for that yes. case. Yes. And so one last question and I'm gonna we'll wrap up is what do you find a lot of resistance with the customers? Because look, no one raises their hands and says, I want to change how I do things, yeah, right? Yeah. Everyone gets comfortable. Right. What What type of resistance do you run into? Yeah, uh, I, I have uh, seen uh, some kind of resistance from the middleware and operations team because uh, if you talk about the test environment, so if you talk about a test environment that is outside the mainframe, uh, they would be worried about the administration aspects because that would be going out of their control. And if it is going to the development team, how, what would be the consequence of that? How would the synchronization happen? So they have all these concerns. So that is one resistance part I have seen. So they would try to uh, resist that to the maximum and uh, try to make it uh, the right. environments available on mainframe itself. And the second kind that I've seen is that about the SEM. So, for example, uh, if there is an SEM tool that is on the system for 30 plus years or 40 plus years, and uh, if people start talking about migrating that to a distributed SEM, which has better benefits, people resist that because sometimes each and every process that you do on the mainframe SEM may not be able to be replica replicated onto the distributed side yeah. SEM. But that should not be the case. Ideally, uh, we should be looking at the process, how it is happening at the distributed side, and the thought process has to be changed whether we really need that uh, what is happening on the mainframe SEM or in the changed scenario that's how we have to look at and how it is happening on the distributed side so the best practices are to be openly adopted onto the mainframe devops that's my opinion excellent yeah Anita, thank you so much for being our guest here today yeah thank you very much it, it was, was a nice pleasure. conversation have a excellent. great excellent yeah. Okay, this is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com, DevOps TV at IBM Think. Have a great day, everyone.